how are you aligning with R&D and how are you aligning with sales? You know, sales and marketing have been the, an age old topic that we always talk about. And you, you're having, like you said, to partner closely with R&D, partner closely with sales. What's your approach there? What are the, some of the things you see work really well in 2022 when it comes to aligning with R&D, which is critical, and in aligning with sales? The first thing is make sure that we have cross-functional teams, correct? If we work in silos, that doesn't longer is going to work. So as we're thinking of how can we even have an impact on customer experience, it's super important to understand the different roles and perspectives because we can create a lot of things digitally, but we can have in our R&D or application engineers that they're going to have that contact with our customers and that experience that we may have on the face-to-face -face or email is going to have impact if they also come to our website. So we're really trying to make sure that we build cross-functional teams. And as we're developing new products, as we're creating new solutions, or even kind of, you know, continue to advance existing portfolios, really just talk to each other. Talk to each other to understand how can we develop content that can help our customers be more self-sufficient? How can we, you know, really help and empower our customers with they're looking for and making sure that as we have those different touch points, we have then in a more consistent way. So it feels like a seamless experience for our customers, wherever they are and whatever touch points they want to leverage. How are some of the ways that you get buy-in from other executive stakeholders? Because to me, you as the marketing leader for a, this is a big part of, of 3M's business. I mean, the, the transportation electronics group is, as you said, one of the four. I mean, it accounts for almost 30% of their sales, you know, so it's a big part of the business where you now as the modern day marketer have to align and build trust with a lot of stakeholders. And I think if you rewind the clock several years back, the marketing leader may not have had to be so good at aligning with finance and operations and R&D and sales and the CEO, et cetera. But along the way, what have you noticed works really well for you in getting buy-in from other executives when you need it as the marketing leader? I'm not going to lie. It takes time and patience <laughs> to convince them. But I would say it has been wonderful to see the journey and how much we have advanced. I recall conversations with some of my peers that maybe they were more traditional in the way of thinking. And they would say, no, 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 we don't need marketing. We have our sales organization. We're just going to be key account driven approach and just face to face to where we are now and the conversations that we are having. So I would say what has worked is closely partner with them, understand what are the challenges, talk about the things that we can do to help and start doing small pilots and small approach and constantly kind of educate them about why marketing works and show examples. And here's what we have done for our business. Here, you know, the results that we're seeing, that's working really well. Just understanding your stakeholder, working uh, close with them, understand what are the challenges that they're trying to address and help by showing some of the things that you can do and maybe just do small pilots and events and constantly show the successes. And if you educate people, they feel comfortable, correct? And then they feel that they understand what you're doing as well. How would you describe the culture of the executive leadership team there? What is it like to collaborate with that group of folks? I think, you know, in general, folks are collaborative, but, you know, there's some generations that are a little bit more traditional and others that are more open. So it just takes more time. But it's like any other company, it's important for you to understand the matrix and who you need to work together. So a lot of time, I would say something that could be faster, it takes more time because you might need to have different touch bases to bring everybody on board. It doesn't feel like a big surprise as you're advancing with new things, especially because you're doing things in the center on behalf of the businesses. But I would say in general, it's collaborative. And I would say the last few years, again, with everything that we had, you know, internally and externally with all the changes is also that 3M has embraced. Things are changing and people are just collaborating even more. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. This segment is brought to you by Salesforce. Salesforce brings marketing and engagement together. If you wanna learn more, head over to salesforce.com forward slash marketing. And please subscribe to this channel for more marketing insights from the world's best marketing leaders across the Fortune 500 and beyond.